Hey guys, what's up? Malta here and welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited because I am going to be showcasing the My Hero Academia mod. We are officially ready. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure you smash that like button down below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. We're going to start off by showcasing the armors. And as you can see, they're moving. Well, just, well they're actually moving. But uh, there's a lot of armors in this game and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more added soon. So... I'm going to showcase some of the armors that are already in the game, starting with Zuku Midoriya, aka Deku. We have, I believe this is the Gamma top. Uh, I'm really excited to wear this. This one is probably my favorite one so far. But yeah, this is Zuku Midoriya's outfit, the latest outfit in the anime, I believe. And it just looks so smexy. Look at these 3D models on me. Oh, I can, I can kick some butt in this. All right, well, that, that that personally is probably one of my favorite armors. Granted, there's some other ones. The next one we're going to do is Bakugo's armor. This is this is some fancy armor. I really like the head plate that we got going on here. Uh, I, I like the mask and just everything with it. Hopefully in the future, we can get some of his gauntlets, the huge gauntlets on his hands that he has, like the grenade the gauntlets. But I am Bakugo right now. Pyaw! Just kidding. I, I have no quirk. I'm, I'm, I'm quirkless. No. The next outfit that we have is Ochaka Uraraka's outfit. I think this one is really cool. I really, I like the, uh, I, to be honest, I just like all the, all the armors. I like the three, 3D models with them. Anyways, I really like the Ochaka Uraraka outfit. It looks pretty freaking cool. On to Mr. Aizawa's outfit. Uh, you know, the cloth, the, I don't know what to call this, like his scarf, his, his cloth, his, his, his thing. I, I don't remember what it's called. I really wish that maybe in the future, with the quirk, you can like activate the cloth and use it to some ability to pull people forwards. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, and then we have the UA outfit. I'm going to throw Ochaka Uraraka's outfit back on the armor stand and let's move on. So yeah, this is the UA school uniform. And I just wanted to show off some of the uniforms. I just want to stick these on because I really like those the most. Uh, and over here we have some of more Izuku Midoriya's outfits or Deku. Uh, this one is the USJ. So when they were in the USJ, uh, th th that battle thing, um, th the unforeseen simulation, that's what it's called. And then we have his beta outfit, Deku Midoriya, or Mid Deku Midoriya, oh, oh my god, Zuko Midoriya's beta outfit. It's the outfit before the Gamma outfit, aka the latest one, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and this one's pretty sick. So let's go ahead and stick this back on here. I wish there was a way I could just like right click and throw him back on. I wish there was. And then we have Izuku's first outfit, the outfit that his mom got him. And I personally, this is this is my like my second favorite. Besides the gamma one, this one, the, the originality with it. Mm, beautiful. So the next outfits that we have are both showcased as the male and the female uh, armor from the the UA Sports Festival. Uh, if you guys remember all the, the battles showing off their their quirks and when Bakugo was going crazy and you yeah I think you guys know what I'm talking about but so this is the UA sports event outfit I do like it it's pretty 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 unique and I'll probably be rocking this one actually I don't need to throw any other armors on we'll just rock this one uh, but now we have some of the last few armors that are in the game we have him, the man himself the number one hero now and dead and dead oh oh, oh. I, I said his name oh, what endeavor I can't believe I screwed that up. And then I, I went ahead and just stuck his head on the back, Endeavor's head. Uh, so we're going to stick Endeavor's head on. I, I can't talk to like him, but I'm Endeavor as a, as a, as a student pod champ. Um, yeah, so I think this is really cool. I, I hope in the future, if possible, I, I'm not saying if it is, but if it is, dude, the freaking flames on the side, how it's just armor right now. Imagine if it was all animated. That would be awesome. All right, the next outfit, I, I can never remember this guy's name. You know, I, I think everyone can agree that people's name is, this, well, maybe it's just me. But the, the whirlwind dude, the tornado dude, I think his name's like, in, yeah, Insa. Uh, I don't know the rest of it. I just call him whirlwind dude or tornado dude. Oh, I just realized I can't stick it on. I actually kind of like this outfit with the, with all the mechanics on that he has on it. The gauntlet that shoots out the, the, the tornado-like winds. Dude, I look freaking B.A. And one of the last few hero outfits that I found is the Cementos outfit, I believe. 
the cement dude who creates cement. Uh, you know, they're the same outfit. We're just gonna, we're just gonna grab these real quick. Just uh, throw them on. Yeah, so that is basically all of them. There is a few more that I have by the dorms, which I'll show you guys later. If you guys want to know how to use this map that I'm using, wow, it's bright out here. Eh. Uh, I will link the schematic down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, granted, some of the stuff over here I had to add because for some reason the schematic just didn't work properly, like the UA logo I added. Um, but anyways, let's get into the next thing, which I believe is to be weapons. Put your hands up! This is an arrest. I'm a villain. Oh, I'm just kidding, but I'm going to showcase some of you guys the weapons. Oh, oh, if you drop it, it, like, it looks cool. Wait. <gasps> oh, so we got the pistol, and, and then we got the, the assault rifle. We go. Sorry, I get carried away. So if you guys want to do some villain work, here's some weapons that you can use. I, I believe there's a couple heroes that use weapons. I don't remember their names. I know one of them is a teacher. It's like the dude. He, he reminds me of the dude from uh, Overwatch, the game. I don't remember his name. The sharpshooter with the sniper. I know that's not very helpful. Maybe maybe I'll figure it out. But I'm thinking his name. Dude, why does it keep raining? I think it's McCree. I'm McCree. And then, of course, we have the assault rifle. I don't really know of any character that I can remember that uses the assault rifle besides maybe a villain. Um, is there a way to, like, aim this without shooting? I don't think so. I don't really know what these guys are, but we also have a knife um, from the one character who likes to take blood. I can't remember her name. Uh, it's, it's kind of awkward. Uh, what's her name? I believe her name is to be Toga, I believe. I don't think it says on here, no. Uh, I, I believe the only ability that you have with this knife is to stab people. So if I wanted to walk up to stab this, I believe this is a SWAT dude. I don't really want to stab him because I don't want to get shot and die. Um, so stab him. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Hide in the waterfall. He can't chase me. Okay, he's chasing me. All right, we're going to have to showcase the next weapon really quickly. I don't want to become a villain, but it's Stain's uh, sword. With the blood, when you when he licks the blood of someone, his quirk paralyzes them. So, give me your blood. I am the stain, the, the hero killer, or whatever his thing is. Aha, look at it, we did it. We're, we're a villain. All right, well, I really don't want to be a villain, but I think the sword just looks really cool with the blood on it. And I don't know if it's in the game right now, but if there's a quirk where you can actually like take someone's quirk like that, that'd be freaking cool. And then we have a katana, which... He's a katana. I don't really know what else to do with it. And then the sharpshooter. I believe the sharpshooter is something with uh, Kaminari with his quirk where he helps uh, to, to, to redirect the lightning that he, that he uses. It looks like it. Maybe I'm wrong. Granted, I don't really know how to use it because it doesn't shoot anything. But I believe that's all the weapons. All right. The next thing that I want to show off is all the quirks you can get in the game. Now, there's multiple ways to get quirks. You can either use a command or you can use an item. Now, the command to get any quirk, there's a couple of them. First of all, what I recommend doing is typing slash M H A list and press enter. Oh, well, that's really tiny. And now you can see a list of all the quirks. So we have explosion, hell flame, zero gravity, acid, water gun, invisibility, cement. <gasps> there's a cement one. Oh my gosh, I could be cementos. Uh, air cannon, electrification telekinesis and i believe everyone's favorite one for all erasure strong arm regeneration sludge and whirlwind now by seeing the list of quirks you can now do slash hello person not not do that slash m h a quirk and then you can type did i spell it wrong yeah i did quirk and then you can now type the quirk you like so as you can see at the bottom right you see a stamina bar it's filled, but I'm actually quirkless. And once you have a quirk, you'll be able to see the quirk abilities that you'll have to use. So we're just going to give ourselves the quirk cement because I kind of wanted to use cement. I've never actually used it. So if I type cement, we now have the ability of cement quirk. Now, actually, there's another way to give yourself a quirk and that requ that it requires an item, which I don't exactly know if you can make or find. I don't, I don't know how to get them. The only way I know how to do it is through creative mode. And that is by clicking on the quirk token. So I don't exactly know where the cement token is. Oh, it's right here. So if I actually right click the cement token. So if I do um, quirk, let's just do quirkless. So we're, we're not going to have any quirk. 
So see, I have no quirk now at the bottom right. And if I press M, which is the stack card, I'll get into that in a second. It says I'm quirkless. Oh, my rep is negative three. Okay, don't, don't kill people. Stop raining! All right, we're good. So if I actually right click the cement token, it will consume it and I will be able to use the ability for my cement quirk. Now I've never actually tried this, so uh, let's, let's let's give it a try. So actually before we do so, the ability to use your quirk is R and to actually change it, if you wanna change it, you can go to controls and all the way at the bottom, it says, don't worry about world data, that's just my thing. Uh, use quirk R and then obviously you can change that. So we're gonna use R and we can throw cement. So that was a cement bullet. So as you can see, the more we use our quirk, the more stamina it requires. Once you run out of stamina, you should not be able to use your quirk. Oh, shoot. Like I was saying, once you run out of stamina, you shouldn't be able to use your quirk anymore. But say you want to use more abilities, but you don't know how to. It's actually the up arrow, which let me, let me make sure to show you guys, should be the up arrow to change your quirk. So ability cycle. So we want to cycle through our abilities at the bottom right. But you're like, multi, I can't cycle through them. That's because if you press M to see your stat card, your level is zero and you have no experience and your skill point are zero but really what matters the most if you want to get more quirks or more ability for your quirk is if your level is more than zero so zero starts off with one quirk then oh, once you get to level five you get another quirk once you get to level 10 another quirk 20 another quirk 30 another quirk and 50 is the final quirk you can get so i will have all that in the description of how you get it but once you go up every 5 to 10 levels, you should start to be able to get more quirks unlocked. Now, you might be asking, how do I get more quirks? Well, I believe you actually have to get experience. And the way you get experience is, I believe, using your quirk and killing things with it. I believe you get more experience with uh, with using your quirk to kill stuff. I don't know what I just killed. I think my rep probably going down. Yeah. So you see, I got one experience from that. And my rep goes down. So if you're if you're killing good people, your rep's gonna go down. Now you may be asking, what the heck is a rep? Rep means your representation of how the society views you. Say you want to be a villain. I I don't actually one second. Okay, so I went ahead and did a thing. I gave myself a rep negative fifty, which I'll go over in a second, and I just became a villain. So if you guys want to become a villain, just basically use your quirk for evil or start killing good things. So uh, don't be a villain because I will use my quirk one for all and kick your butt. Now you may be asking, what did you do to change your representation or rep? I did slash M-H-A-R-E-P. And then you type whatever number. So if you wanted to go down, you type negative 500. I did not negative 50. But if you wanted to go up, say you want your quirk, I think mine will be zero right now. Let me just, let me check if... Yeah, okay, so it changes to the number that you put, never mind. So my quirk is 50, that's a hero. But if I want to become just a normal person, I'll, I'll set it to zero for right now. So my rep, I'm just a civilian. And the civilian representation goes from zero to nine. That's just being a normal civilian. Now, once you get your uh, representation level up to level 10, you can start being a vigilante on your way to being a hero. That goes up to level 29. Once you get to level 29, or once you get to level 30, you can start your hero work and you'll become a hero and you'll be represented as a hero. So make sure you represent yourself well. So I just realized I probably got on a tangent and I didn't explain how to give yourself more quirks or more of your abilities. So to do that, you're either, like I said, you're gonna have to level yourself up, but if you wanna do it with a command, I believe you can only do this if you're opt, you're gonna wanna do MHA level. And uh, we're gonna give ourselves level five. So if I press M for the stack card, we're now level five, and it's obviously gonna cost a little bit more experience to level up for your next level. Uh, one thing that I don't know, for, oh, also per level, you're gonna get one skill point. Before, I, I forgot to say that. So I didn't get it now because I didn't actually do the normal stuff leveling up, but I'll go over that in a second. So now if I press the up arrow, I'm able to use another quirk and it switches between the first two, as you can see at the bottom right corner. The first one is cement bullet. The second one is pedestal. I don't really know what that is. Okay, so it shoots us up, and it's raining again! Well, I was gonna try to show off the quirks, but the police are handling the spiders instead of me. Okay, well, stuff's blowing up in the forest, but I want to show off the quirks. So we're gonna try this pedestal. It launches you up a little bit. We're gonna switch, be oh, frick. We're gonna switch to the bullet now, and stop shooting me, I'll shoot you back. 
We're going to use our quirk to stop the witch. Use our hero work. Monster hunter. Bada boom. Bada bang. I'm dying of poison. Please don't kill me. So yeah, the uh, police actually apparently save you. Obviously. Um, if you hear random explosions, it's because I just turned on mobs and freaking stop dying. Okay, we're finally good. So let's go ahead and show off uh, some more quirks with Cementos. Um, I think what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to make this video a couple of videos. I'll have the first video up like normal. Oh no, my stuff got broke. And then for the next video, I'm going to be showing off all the quirks. If you guys smash that like button, I'll show off all the quirks in the next episode. We're just going to show off a couple of quirks this episode. Uh, but hello, business Steve. We're going to do... Um, we're going to set our level to level 10. So that way we unlock a new... Uh, ability, which is cement wall. So let's see what the cement wall is. I don't know if she used it. Okay, so it places a wall of cement. I don't know if it actually stays there the entire time or if it goes away. I think I think it stays there the entire time. So I think we're just creating walls. Um, yeah, so this could totally be griefed uh, or, or used to grief. So hopefully, maybe in the future, it'll disappear. But, oh crap. Oh wait, they do break, maybe. Frick, I got slowness. Take my cement bullets, stupid witch. Oh, they're breaking. Okay, maybe they do. Okay, so they do break over time, so we're good. Oh, that's cool. So if I shoot it, does it... Maybe it breaks a little bit quicker. All right, that's actually kind of cool. So we're going to just show off... Um, we're just going to go to level 50 because I want to show off all the quirks. And I already told you which levels you get which. So cement boulder. Let's see what a cement boulder is. Rawr! Okay, well, I just broke the ground. So basically, you just throw a giant rock. That's pretty cool. Do I get the blocks back all the time? What happens if I just throw it up straight in the air? Does it come down? Is there gravity? Oh, shoot! Okay. I, that was very dumb of me. Um, that wasn't me that time. Uh, cement prison. Do we just surround someone in in cement? Oh, no, just kidding. What, what did that even do? I don't know what this does. I'm just putting stuff... To, okay, well, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, and then cement spikes, the last thing. We're going to let our stamina regain a little bit more. Actually, we might be able to use it now. Cement spikes, go! Just kidding. We don't have enough stamina. As you can see... Oh, they break. Oh, shoot. I, okay, that's... That's not good. Uh, as you can see, stamina is very useful in this game. Which you can actually upgrade, which I'll show you in a bit. So, cement spikes, go! Alright, they're like everywhere. Oh, no. I broke the waterfall. Gosh darn it. Oh, I have an idea. I can use my quirk to help it. Um, prison? Is that what it was? Did I, can I put something here? Eh. Come on. This is not working water. It's freaking raining again. I need a quirk to stop the rain. Okay, so that is the cement quirk that I just showed off. Now, another thing is I want to show you a command called slash M-H-A-S-P. Now, if you can't guess, it means skill points. So you can now set your skill points to anything. So we're going to set our skill points to 60. So now if I press M, we should have 60 skill points. And it's pretty pogs. Now, if what you can do with the skill points is if you actually go to the next page, you can see your stack cards. You can give yourself more health. You can give yourself more power and stamina. We're going to give ourselves more stamina. So let's get this up to level 10 right now. If you go back and see this show, we used 10 skill points. So they do get used, obviously. Uh, and we're going to give ourselves 10 extra power which I don't exactly know how that works, and then more health. As you can see, we're getting more health uh, bars. I think every two health is one heart, so it's pretty useful. Uh, and then we should have about, yeah, 30 left, so we use 30. And if I'm correct, I believe you can only get max out at 30 for each stat. Now, I don't know if there's going to be more stats in the future, possibly. There might be some config in the future, hopefully, where you can change the amount of stats. That way it makes it more interesting, so it's not just limited to 30. Um, but I think this is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and give ourselves um, two, two bars of, of hearts. Let's go ahead and eat. Actually, we're going to eat a golden apple. Just, no, we can regen pretty quickly. So we have uh, we have more stamina. So let's, let's test it out. All right, not bad, not bad. Seems like it's using a little bit less stamina. So that's pretty good. Uh, hello there, civilian. I am hero. I just realized I said I am hero. Yes, that's that's my name. I'm just I'm just hero. Um, and 
One thing that I am very confused on is change your name, your identity. Whenever I change my identity name, it doesn't save. I don't exactly know how to do it. So if I just change my name, we're just say hero. I like press enter. I don't know what to do. If I press M, it, well, if I press anything, it just goes away. So, oh, not herp. Uh, if anybody knows how to do that, let me know uh, in the comments because I don't know how to keep the identity the, the same. Uh, but yeah, so that's our chance. Use a quirk on something like a zombie. Oh, break. Hi. Aha. The civilian or some person tried stopping it. But I, Hero Cementos, saved you and kind of broke some stuff in the making. So one more command before showing off the one for all quirk. Because let's be honest, that's what you guys want to see. You want to see the one for all quirk. Um, I'm going to show you a guy, a guys a way to give yourself experience. So as you can see, I only have three experience right now, but I need 600 to level up. So, uh, let's just say I want to get more experience. The command to get more experience besides killing stuff or whatever else way it is, is M slash MHA. Okay, buddy. Okay, I'm trying to do a showcase here. You don't need to shoot me. Take my cement boulder. That's a prison. Okay, well, that's how the prison works. Hurrah! I, okay, I don't... I, I, aha! Get prison. The cement prison works differently than I expected. Spike him. It's, he's dead, but, oh, shoot. That's not good. Okay, my rep didn't go down. We're good. All right, well, the prison's going to go bye-bye in a second. There we go. Um, stop blowing up my forest. Uh, if you do MHA experience, you can give yourself an amount of experience. So say I want to give myself 500 experience. Boom. I now have 504 experience out of 600. Now, I just want to level up, so let's just give ourselves... 96 experience we have six okay well just give yourself one more now we are level 51 haha -ha! so very cool i got another skill point and oh that scared me and uh yeah that's how you do the experience command uh and i think now is on to a point where i want to show you how to reset yourself uh so if you want to reset yourself wow i have arrows that look like they just went through me in the same spot that's kind of funny uh if you want to reset yourself you do slash M H A R E S E. As I was saying, you do slash M. What in the world is going on back there? M H A reset. And if you guys can't guess it, it just resets you. So you're going to say bye bye to everything, including. Oh, wait, do I still have my quirk? No, I don't. My, wait, my quirk is regeneration? What? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm dumb. So if you do reset, it gives you a brand new quirk. I'm, I'm dumb, and if you just want to give yourself no quirk, you do slash quirk, or MH quirkless, or, yeah, MH quirk, and then quirkless. So if you do reset, it gives you a random quirk, which I guess that also, uh, if you just want to give yourself a random quirk, but not reset yourself, if you do slash MHA quirk random, it'll give you a random quirk. I don't exactly know how this water quirk works, so we're going to shoot you in the face. And boom, we have two experience for killing the zombie. Our quirk is water gun. So now, on to the final quirk of this video, uh, before I show you more. As you can see, all the quirks right there, we're going to do slash MHA quirk, and then type one for all, the best quirk in the game. So as you can see, we have Delaware Smash, and let me give myself experience and levels, because I don't want to show them all. Well, we'll go into more um, detail about this stuff later. Uh, I just want to show off the quirk, and, and we'll, we'll go into more detail next video. All right, so I have maxed out all my stuff on the stash sheet. So the quirks for one for all, you have Delaware Smash, the Leap, which I I, I really don't understand how to use sometimes. Uh, Texas Smash, Full Calling, and Detroit Smash, and then one for all at 100%, which you can actually combine Full Calling and one for all, which makes it freaking OP, and then use the other quirks. Um, so what I want to show you guys is some of the mobs that are in the game. I'm not going to show you all of them, but... One of them that I think you guys might find most interesting. Uh, we have a criminal spawn egg, so we'll, we'll just spawn a criminal for right now. Uh, and, oh, hello there. A uh, one for all, kick your freaking butt. Hold on, Delaware. That was extraordinarily loud, I apologize for that. Um, so as you can see, the Delaware smash kicks freaking butt. Civilian spawn egg, which you guys have been, believe been seeing them around. I think they're just random skins. Um, I don't know if there's a way you can get your skin on there, but it'd be cool if you could. Uh, and the one thing that I was going to wait, but I accidentally showed it off, is Nomu. 
the Lobos. The one from the USJ specifically. Uh, then we got SWAT officer, which you guys saw that earlier. Police officer, card man, and hammer boss. Which, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't really remember anything about these two. Card man and hammer boss. So we're going to go out here and spawn those. We're going to use one for all to kick the butts of all these mobs and hopefully not die. Uh, I believe one for all is the strength to do it. But we're going to find out in a second. Actually, I want to get there a little bit quicker. So let's go full calling so we get some speed. Do, 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 do. By the way, I forgot to show you guys get particles when you use full call and more stuff. Um, okay, baby zombie. You set me on fire. You, you suck. You know that? You suck. You suck. You suck. Just die. Stop hurting me. All right. So let's go ahead and show this stuff off. I want to first do the card man. We're going to spawn him. Oh, what in the world is that? We're going to stick on full calling. And then one for all. We have both quirks active. Texas Smash. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys see that? That was freaking OP. Oh, that's how you get a knife. Oh, it's almost damaged, but, or it's kind of damaged, but that's how you get... Okay, seriously. All right, we're going to fight in the, in, the, in the rain. I don't care. All right, now we're going to spawn Hammer Boss, dude. Oh, goodness. Don't, don't forget, we have one for all and full calling enabled. We are just freaking wrecking stuff. Holy crap. Oh, there's more mobs out here. Oh my gosh, there's so many villains and zombies. Oh gosh. All right, well, I figured I'd help the police out a little bit. All right, so I guess the hammer boss dude spawned normally. Uh, down to the last mob that is in the game that I want to show you guys, which is freaking terrifying. And he, he, uh, it kicks butt. What is that over there? I don't even know. Uh, no moo. Whew, I'm a little bit nervous. We're going to stick on full calling just so we don't die instantly. Boom. All right, no moo has spawned. Hello, no moo. Oh, frick, he's fast. He's fast. He's fast. One for all. Go full. Calling one for 100% into this. Dude, we're kicking freaking butt. Delaware Smash. I missed. Oh, shoot. Don't, don't. Police officer, get out of the way. I'm the hero here. Leap. Gotta get out of here. So I, I use the leap right. Texas Smash. Oh, jeez. Dude, that launches him up. Texas Smash again. I missed. Texas Smash. All right. So we're, we're doing some damage to, uh, to the Nomu. Uh, but one thing is... I need, to, I need to do some Detroit smashes. This, these two police officers, please leave the area. I can't use my full quirk if you're standing here. I don't have enough stamina. Uh, Delaware smash. Oh shoot, I'm gonna run out of, I'm gonna run out of stamina. I gotta, I gotta turn off some of the quirks. We're gonna stop using one for all. All right, but he's regenerating way too much. Ow, oh, watch me there. Oh, I just killed a police officer. That's really awkward. I'm uh, sorry, officer. I didn't mean to kill you. All right, so we don't have anything active. I don't think we have full calling active. Let's, let's activate full cowling again. Full cowling! Uh, and then... Oh, I just de deactivated it. Let's do Detroit Smash! We gotta punch at the speed of... I don't know how fast it was. Oh, no, I don't have any stamina. This isn't good. So, like I said, stamina is very important. And even with max stamina, no moves kind of kicking my butt. I can't wait... For, okay, slime, you need to really back off. Can't wait till there's all those no moves that were added into the animate into the game i am stuck here i need to leap out of here if i can oh no i'm gonna die it's okay i didn't really need that armor anyways let's okay we have full stamina so now we can go full power into this one for all all right here we go delaware smash yeah you will not take down the civilians i am the symbol of peace i will not allow it oh frick okay i gotta jump away all right we have to use a golden apple. No, Moo, you're quick as crap. Get out of here. Texas Smash. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use a Detroit Smash to win this. Detroit Smash. Oh, we did it. We defeated No, Moo. Okay, you guys have seen the power of one for all with full calling. It's still freaking strong and hard to use, but it's amazing. All right, how do I turn this off? There we go. Whew. All right, we did it. Even with max stats, that No, Moo is kind of difficult. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below. Let's try to get 50 likes on this video. Let's try that. 50 likes. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be showing off all the quirks. But I didn't really want to do a series on this mod. So if you want a series, let me know down below in the comments. Oh. Uh. 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 Ravity. What? what happened? Okay, well, I have no idea what happened. I think she just got so... Uh, blushed because i'm so awesome that she just was like poof i'm gone uh anyways 
I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Turn back on. All right, there we go. Detroit. Smash! Ow.